Sindhyata Kaita Part 1 In Western Africa, the formation of the Mali Empire in 1235 AD can be traced back to the story of Sindhyata Kaita. Sindhyata Kaita was a prince from the Mandinka Kaita dynasty, which developed as the ruling class of the Kingdom of Kangaba. The Kingdom of Kangaba had been established by the Mandinka ethnic group prior to the decline of the Ghana Empire in 750 AD. The Mandinka people were a subgroup of the Mande people and are also known as the Malinke or Maninka. A number of Mandinka chiefdoms had been established around the area of the Upper Niger River, with Kangaba being the most prominent. The Kingdom of Kangaba was once a vassal state of the Ghana Empire, but once the Ghana Empire declined and was broken up into 12 separate kingdoms, Kangaba was once again able to rise as an independent nation. The oral traditions relating to Sundiata Kaita were passed down generation after generation by the local griots. The griots were West African historians, storytellers, poets, singers, and musicians responsible for conveying knowledge concerning the history and traditions of the West African people in the region. Sundiata Kaita's name means Lion Prince or Hungering Lion. He became a warrior king who united a scattered people and, under his benevolent leadership, ushered in a glorious period of peace and prosperity. According to the oral tradition of Mali, the wise men and diviners of the kingdom had predicted the birth of a great leader and warrior who would be the son of the current ruler named Magan Konfara. Magan Konfara at the time had multiple wives, however he would soon marry a new wife named Sogolon Konde. Sogolon Konde was known as a wise woman and also a sorceress and she fell pregnant for the ruler and eventually gave birth to a son who was Sundiata Kaita in around 1210 AD. Magon Konfara decided to provide Sundiata with his own personal griot named Bala Faseke, who would supply the young prince with wisdom and guidance. Now, one of Magan Konfara's other wives also had a son, who was born before Sindhyata. The other wife was well aware that the diviners had predicted the birth of a great leader, but was determined that her own son should eventually be the ruler of the kingdom. As a consequence, Sogolon Konde was concerned for the safety of her son and her other children. Growing up, Sindhyata became well known as a skillful warrior, hunter and military strategist. According to the oral tradition, when Sindhyata's father died, he was exiled by his half-brother and he had to leave the kingdom. Sindhyata vowed to return and reclaim the throne of his people someday. However, in the meantime, Sindhyata and his mother settled in a neighboring kingdom. Now the Susu tribe, also known as the Soso, was another subgroup of the Mande people, located within the region and had established a kingdom which grew in influence after the decline of the Ghana Empire. The Susu were ruled by a powerful family of blacksmiths, with the family name of Kante. The leader of the Susu at the time was Sumanguru, also known as Sumanguru Kante, who had engaged in military conflict with the Ghana Empire and achieved some successes. Soon, the Susu began to launch attacks against the Kingdom of Kangaba. Indeed, they were successful in conquering some of the local Mandinka chiefdoms and added them to their Susu sphere of control. The Susu, under the leadership of Sumanguru Kante, continued to attack the Kangaba and the neighboring regions, killing leaders and taking tribute from them, and imposed restrictions on trade in parts of their territory. Eventually, the Mandinka people started to revolt against Sumanguru, and fearing retaliation, the then ruler of the kingdom of Kangaba fled the kingdom. 
Nana Treban, who was Sundiata's sister, had been forced to marry Sumanguru after some of his conquests, but was secretly working against him and communicating with her brother. Meanwhile, the people of the Mandinka requested Sundiata to return and liberate his homeland. Sundiata Kaita quickly returned from exile to the Kangaba region and became the leader of the Mandinka tribe and after meeting with allies and friends gathered an army and engaged in a war with Sumanguru. Sundiata Kaita would eventually face off against Sumanguru at the Battle of Karina. The Battle of Karina is also known as the Siege of Karina. The details regarding both the story of Sundiata Kaita and the Battle of Karina are detailed within the Epic of Sundiata. The Epic of Sundiata is a classic African legend in the form of a poem which details the rise of King Sundiata and the creation of the Mali Empire. However, there is no single authoritative version. This well-known epic is a classic piece of West African culture and as we shall see, provides details concerning the foundation and formation of the great Mali Empire.